Waking up in morning, we should not allow the I to manifest. The moment I manifest, it takes away all the peace, when I is there, then absolute is hidden, and when the absolute is there, There is no I. For a seeker of truth, his meditation continues throughout the day till he goes to bed. Remembering I as I, that absolute I. All spiritual texts talk about remembrance, power of remembrance. We have a very 
important power power of attention wherever it goes it brings our mind to that place even in this body there are different parts the moment you bring your attention to the right big toe you can feel it you know its presence sensations if you bring your attention to breath you know your breath it's not that your attention has brought it into existence it was there you were unaware of it bring this attention to the beingness but here remember a word of caution this beingness is not a thing you cannot bring attention to watch to observe or to feel there is one more rule to bring your attention to the being ego has to drop so this is a pure seeing when you see there is no one to report and when there is someone to report there is no seeing you don't enter into this domain you die before you know it kabir says it beautifully he says प्रेम गली अति सांकरी इसमें दो ना समाये विच इन इंग्लिश यू कैन ट्रांसलेट दैट लव लेन इज टू नैरो फॉर टू टू एग्जिस्ट यू हैव टू चूज either you as ego or absolute
you have to give up yourself to know that there is no other way. And you are the one who is living in this body using a mind achieving goals if you look what is the bondage there are three bondages though the primal is your i thought but the other one is all the actions done by the sai thought from that ego point and the third is the obvious maya this delusion by the mind which creates this world of names and forms all actions coming from i thought are creating this bondage that is the reason why any earnest sincere seeker finds it very hard to continue what he or she is doing while getting merged in this energy when the i surrenders to absolute along with it doership also goes away the moment doership goes away mind surrenders to absolute surrender of mind is a big thing this veil of maya ignorance by which this world is being seen as separate also drops and the self blossoms in its full glory person sees forms gyani only sees self you transcend into one differentiated shiva that absolute then there is no difference between you and absolute you are absolute there is no need to declare because there is no one to declare also the one who would take it as a pride or achievement or accomplishment is now dead he has died before death of the body 
and he has died a complete death. Death of the body doesn't kill your ego. So the ego takes another birth and it continues to stop this cycle. You have to find the source Finding the source is possible only when this I thought dissolves. So remember the absolute by staying as uninvolved witness to all actions. Then all actions become inaction. Inaction doesn't mean the person is only sitting. Body can move, can do. But without ego, no one is claiming anything. No personal intention or sankalpa. Still things happen. Understand I thought thrives on only on one thing, our desire as ego. Desire is the root cause to experience this sansara and variety and forms with enjoyment and suffering. <clears throat> For most of the human beings, Living as ego and dying as ego is the only way. Most of them, they never question this. Perhaps they don't even know there is another way to live or to know that ultimate which leads to end of all suffering. But for a seeker there is no excuse. He knows that there is absolute and is still living in ego is very painful. He has to finish this birth, these birth pains. He is in middle of his own labor. Getting born to be unborn forever.
keep your attention on pure stillness Keep quiet. Chumma Yeru, Bhagwan used to say all the time. Know that you are absolute, independent of your thoughts, and not dependent on thoughts. We can find him only in this quietness. Remember, self can only be known by self. No other person, no instrument, no scientific experiment can know the self.
Self is beyond the domains of time and space. This body and mind belongs to time and space. Just be. Pure presence. Don't identify yourself with anything, any thought, any feeling. Nothing. Don't borrow anything from this word to call it mine or me. Just be. Pick up this silence, pure silence, silence from the heart. Be with it. This silence is a pure uninvolved witness. It is the best observer. is observing thoughts, feelings, emotions, that too without any interest. It is uninvolved in any activities. The silence is Sadashiva, eternal truth. Merge in it completely. Surrender your separateness. Give up your little kingdom you have made out of ego and become infinite.
be a devotee of this silence. Perfect devotee always remembers that with extinction of ego, nothing is left. Your ego becomes food of the Absolute. And you become silence. You have all the time, you are beyond time. Nothing to gain, nothing to achieve, nothing to reject, nothing to accept. Mind merging in absolute, You are free from pair of opposites. These pair of opposites are only for sansari, for a person. For absolute, everything is same and self.
You talk to anyone in this world, everyone is under the pump. No time, busy. So many tasks to finish. Enter the domain of inaction. by giving up your doership. And you have infinite time. Time is ticking only in mind. You are beyond mind. Your life story has not started with this body or end with this body. You are bodiless. You are not male or female rich or poor. You are nothing. Silence is the pure vibration. The silence is like a being with eyes, intelligence, It has power to manifest things, to sustain them, to dissolve them. And this alive silence also hides truth behind its own projection.
And this silence can help you to know the truth. By receding you, by bringing you back home, which is its grace coming from your own heart. Making you one Surrender, bow down, touch the feet of Lord in your heart, be humble, be a devotee. Accept its power, accept its supremacy, acknowledge it and surrender. Give up your little kingdom built by your ego to absolute. Finish your story now. Don't prolong it. Allow Absolute to manage everything. Give up your doership. When we give up, then that manifest.
don't leave anything for the ego to do, to accomplish. Partial surrender is of no use. Surrender is always complete. Understand ego has qualities which absolute dislikes. This is the reason absolute never manifest along with ego. Ego's qualities are calm, desire, crowth, anger, low, greed, moh, attachments, pride, mada, and matsarre, jealousy. You can get better in ego by being less angry, less greedy, less pride, less attachment, but less will be left. That energy is so pure, eternal. It is so sensitive to these poisons of ego that it can not manifest in any human body unless we get rid of all these poisons. You know, if weed has to grow, it grows in every time of, type of circumstances. But some precious plant needs care, a lot of care. Then it blossoms. For Shiva to show in the body, you have to have the right soil. It will germinate in the soil of no ego. We all think our ego is good. I am a good person. Such a big myth. Ego can only pretend to be good. It has done the biggest sin. It is creating its own small territory in the territory of God. So the God leaves you. He says, you sort out your business then. And when we sort out our business as ego, we only create wars.
we have managed our life now let the absolute manage this life for it to manifest create this space till we continue with our personal life there can be no darshan of absolute we are pure presence the doer gone truth unfolds once truth known don't move back or pick up any thought it's forbidden just be
stay in your heart all the time, eternally. As that, whatever comes and goes, you abide in pure self as self. Be one with that. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, everyone.